Hey, Captain Mike Frenette here. Well, I'm joined up with Boyd Duckett, and everybody knows Boyd Duckett on the freshwater side because he makes the best freshwater rods around. Well, a couple years ago, Boyd contacted me and said, Mike, I really want to get into the inshore side because it's just so popular, and I know with the rods I've made with the freshwater side, we can work together and come up with a perfect product for your inshore saltwater fishing. I said, Boyd, I'm in. Let's have some meetings. Let's talk about it. And let me tell you something. We spent some hours. We spent some time trying to figure out the best guides and trying to figure out the best blanks, trying to figure out the best foregrip, your rod butt, and your reel seat. Well, we've taken the, the EVA foregrip, the soft foam, added it to the butt. We've got the cork handle, but we've got what to me is the most important thing. We've got the parabolic blank. And again, a parabolic blank, everybody goes, what is that? Well, it's simple. It's a rod that's super lightweight, but the rod tip to your reel seat bends. And what does that mean? Well, that means if you're fighting a small fish, the sensitivity factor is there, and you feel it all the way through the rod button. But if you hook up to a big fish, let's say a big snook, a jack of bell, or a 40-pound redfish, well, it's got the beef to handle it, and it's not a heavy rod. It's super lightweight. And so I've come up with a couple signature series in the new salt series, the Mike Frenette seven foot six spinning rod, which is absolutely to me perfect for the individual using a top water that wants to walk the dog, or better yet, what has become so popular in saltwater fishing from the East Coast to the West Coast to the Gulf Coast is popping corks. It has become so popular for all different types of fishing whether it's redfish, whether it's striped bass, whether it's jack Cavell, whether it's snook, whether even the tarpon anglers in Florida are starting to use popping corks on their tarpon. So what we have now is a seven foot six rod that's got beautiful action for a popping cork. And when I say beautiful action is, the way it's made with the soft tip, as, a, as an angler, you just have to lightly move your wrist to get that great action on the popping cork. Days are gone where you had to use a heavier rod for a popping cork to make that sound. And theoretically, that's what a popping cork is there for, is to make the sound to attract the fish to it. You had to really have a heavy rod. And by 12 o'clock, you said, guys, we got to go home because I'm worn out. My arm's ready to fall off. Gone are those days. It's a lightweight, strong rod, beautifully designed, not only for popping corks, but for top water and for live bait. You can even use it for jigging if you like that. But within these series, I've come up with a seven foot medium action spinning, I mean, bait casting rod that is perfect for the guy that wants to use jig heads. And usually in salt water, the guys use quarter ounce to three quarter ounce jig heads. Sometimes it's a little bit lighter. Well, again, with this parabolic blank being so light, you can load up a light jig head and cast it a mile. In the same token, you can take a three quarter ounce jig head and do the same thing and not feel like the rod's gonna come out of your hand. But it has the parabolic blank, and so therefore, again, it's light. Pants from the tip down to the rod butt, like I said with the spinning rod, but it's got the strength again. So whether you're fighting a small fish or a beast, it's all you need. So check out Tackle Direct for the new salt series, and especially check out my signature series.